Jill has been a friend for many years, and um, one day I was looking at uh, his social media account and uh, came upon an image that sort of intrigued me because I was familiar with, uh, you know, the traditional pictures that he's known for, which are mainly you know, fashion photography and uh, maybe portraitures of celebrities. And this this one image was um, was very different, so I um, I sent him a text to to inquire about it. And this led to us having lunch and uh, found out that he had uh, this sort of passion for uh, building or manu manufacturing, crafting these uh, little objects. And uh, the idea came from, from that. So then he explained to me that he was, uh, you know, quite superstitious, kind of like me. So this led on to investigating further. And then he showed me more images and the project or the idea of the project kept on getting better and better, which led eventually to this. Well, we have 30 different um, images in the show. Each image uh, comes in either a small uh, format or a large format. My lucky charm in these days is my daughter. I feel like she brings, you know, she keeps me calm and brings happiness every day. So I think it's my daughter. Do you believe in superstition? Yes, a lot of superstition. Passing the salt hand to hand, uh, going under a ladder, putting the hat on the table, all of those is a no-no in my house. So actually my lucky charm was given by my wife and it's pretty well known and used back in Brazil, which is this scent, where I wear around my neck every day. My lucky charm? Yeah, or a weird one. I don't, have, I don't believe in superstitions. I don't believe in gods or black cats or ladders or... Uh, my lucky charm is this heart that my mom gave it to me on my wedding day. It was a gift from my dad to her and then she gave it to me the day of my wedding. So I wear, I wear it ever since. Do you believe in superstition? I'm a little superstitious, I think, but not too much. I try to ignore it. I don't, I think being too superstitious is thinking you have a lot of power, you know? Like, oh, last time I was wearing this shirt, Brazil won the World Cup. It would be nice if it was true, but it's kind of, you know, not real. My lucky charm is my daughter, Teddy Ben Simone. My ex-husband, Gilles Ben Simone, has always been so incredibly creative. I mean, I think a lot of you guys know him as an amazing photographer of the most beautiful women in the world, but he's actually has another side of him that's so incredibly creative. He's always made these like epic masks. We'd be sitting at you know dinners with Mr. Valentino and he'd be making all these masks. Um, he's always made these unusual little gifts, charms, uh, out of flowers, out of sand, out of uh, shells, whatever he could find, wherever he was. And it was something that was like always, you know, really unusual. And that's one thing, one of the reasons why I was so gravitated towards him is because he's not just a man with an amazing aesthetic. He supersedes amazing aesthetic. Here's this little Buddha thing that my father gave me a few years ago. And I rub the like fists of the Buddha every time I'm going to leave for a long period of time and it always seems to bring me some kind of luck or just peace. Um, my dad's always been really, really talented and his, his work and creativity always inspires me because he's not just a photographer, he's a multimedia artist and he can do so much with his mind which is really, really amazing.
And that's to start my day. Bon, difficult to explain what I'm doing because there's no reason except the fact I'm doing it. I don't, you know, I don't plan to do something, I just do it. You don't do like your your morning ritual. Is it something bad that is going to happen to you? I don't really care. I'm 74. That's why you know I, I count the time. I still have it to do what I like to do. Dying, I don't really care. I think uh, the, the fact we exist, they have something magical about us. Connection between people. If I lose something, I think it will be somebody else. We will find it. He did his first exhibition in Paris and London and now he's doing his first exhibition in New York, and he calls Gris Gris. And I'm not responsible, it's Sebastian responsible. And totally, for the ID. He explained me that he have a project, and we talk about the Gris Gris, about uh, when, I, when I work, because I'm anxious, I always build something like that. So what is it, the Gris Gris? Uh, that first, the Gris Gris, you have a big explanation by Yana Picasso about all the uh, artistic history and the history of Gregory. I think even the baby of Gregory, you know, when they touch, they keep something. You must have one also, something you like. Well, I do, oh. I have this uh, escapulario. Voilà, yeah, you have which something. Which is like I wear every day. Yeah, you keep it. Everybody, probably, people, even people think they don't have, they have something. I, I think so. And um, me, I, Getting for even I take photography for many years. I'm very anxious before every shoot. I think it's not. I always think it's not going to work. I think it's not what I expect. I think I'm going to do the same picture again. Enfin, and I get the habit to pick up something, a stone, or a few things, and I put them together, or I put organize something. And I think when organizing things. I feel, I don't know, I, I, I'm, it's going to be okay. When you're traveling for a job, you go and you find stuff at I the pick beach up, or I wherever pick up. you are, mm. and you start mounting this. Imagine, I, I compare to a, pla a piano player. If you go to concert, classic, you realize it's, it's a lot of, uh, I'm, I'm always a, amazed by the quality of, uh, the, of the music, but also the, the fact they could, they have to be, they have to become the music. They don't, uh, they're not reading the music when you play. They just are playing something. You become the, the music. Bon. When you are a photographer, I always, in my editing, I was looking for the picture I remember I was taking. Is that a way that you put your frustration on the little things and the yeah. little pieces of art that I you can, do? Yeah, yeah. But also, I, I, love to, I, see, I love to take pictures. But it's never the plan what you plan. Show, it, show them very well. The story behind because uh, I was uh, uh, at Angela Missoni's house. 
giving up, you know, they're already dying at some point. So I don't cut them anyway, and I take the picture. That one, This yeah. one? Oh, I was in Venice, and one of my friends is the Prince of Venice. He's a, and we shoot in one place where they made the gondola. He wore this mask, this broken mask, but I don't want to touch it. I just put it uh, in different place. And the fact he was broken, he mean a lot. What the prince read. In my Greek, I have my phalenutia, which I always sit in me. In my task, I give serenity, love, and joy. And I remember that sometimes I have to return to home. But there was few look at me doing it, and they think he must have some power. I do have a plan. I was not. Uh, this one was after a storm also. This one? Yeah. In the pond, that uh, I find that in, a, in the pond in Sagaponac, behind the ocean. <laughs>